We're in the middle of hurricane season, so this week's experiment is going to focus on these giant storms and why they spin. Did you know that every hurricane in the northern hemisphere has a counterclockwise motion to it? Well, let's find out why. Let's start off with the basics. The Earth is constantly spinning counterclockwise, even though you can't feel it. People in places along the equator are actually spinning faster than those closer to the North or South Pole. This is because they have a much greater distance to travel in one rotation than any other place along the Earth does. It is this inequality of speed that causes objects to turn, also known as the Coriolis effect. In the Northern Hemisphere, objects curve to the right, while in the Southern Hemisphere, objects curve to the left. But how does this affect hurricanes? Well, hurricanes are areas of low pressure. As we know, air always wants to move from high to low pressure, so it therefore gets pulled toward the low. As the air moves to the low in the Northern Hemisphere, it gets curved to the right, via the Coriolis effect, and creates the counterclockwise spin. Now for the experiment. You can make a hurricane at home by using a bowl of water, a spoon, and some food coloring. You'll want to fill your bowl about three quarters full of water. Then take your spoon and spin the water around the bowl in a counterclockwise motion for a few seconds. Next, drop some food coloring into the center of the bowl and watch how it expands. It spins counterclockwise with the flow of the low pressure system. You might even see an eye start to form in the middle. Outer rain bands will start to form as well and you'll notice they're gonna spin faster than the water closest to the center will. Let me know if you're able to make one of these hurricanes at home or if you have an idea for an experiment you would love to see me try and do. For News 19, I'm Danielle Miller.